Hello? Where is everybody? Hey there, Joe. Oh, no, I wasn't going to do anything. Joe, why don't you have a seat right over there for me? Um, okay. What were your plans here tonight? Uh, play some water polo with the boys. That's not what it says in this chat. No, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it says in the chat. I got the transcripts right here, Joe. I'm scared. You say, I'm going to destroy you. You also say you're scared your wife will find out. I shouldn't be doing this, I know. I, I mean, what am I supposed to make of this? I know, I know. Well, there's something you need to know. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, uh, and this is an investigation called To Catch an Incompetent President. Huh? Gotcha. gotcha. You've been punked. Did we get you? What the hell was that for? That was for cheating during golf, asshole. You're free to walk right out that door now. Oh no, he's actually staying with us to play. Well, I thought the whole purpose of this was to prevent incompetent presidents from getting sidetracked. Chris, I hate to tell you, but the three of us really don't do shit. At least nothing anyone would approve of. You're not telling me that you guys are actually lurking in these online chat rooms talking to- What the hell do we look like? Some kind of sick perverts? Morally, I can't speak for or defend Joe, but anyway, thanks, Chris. Now, now hold on. Joe needs to take another seat. Bye, Chris. Thanks again for helping with the prank. I thought I was getting in trouble for something completely different. Phew. These are all AI voices. Don't reflect my political views. Viewer discretion advised. All that bullshit. Do your thing, Joe. Thank you for watching, and uh, I don't even know anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our new guest. Ben with a wig, I mean Brett Cooper. Welcome back to the President's Play MLB, the show. I'm thrilled to be here, guys. Well, hello, beautiful. Ooh, Donald, I'm gonna tell Melanie you're flirting with another woman. My wife's name is Melania, you asshat. I thought your wife's name is Ivanka. That's my daughter. Although you would think Ivanka was his wife if you've ever heard him talk about her. Sorry, my daughter has an amazing figure, and if I wasn't happily married, then perhaps... Good gracious, please stop talking. And I'm the creep. The hell have I gotten myself into? All right, for teams, let's do... Brett and I versus you and Joe. We got this hot stuff. Uh, yikes. How about we let Brett pick? Well, she does bat righty, so I know she will make the right choice. How about you and me, Barry? Joe and Donald can team up. Great. Uh, they seem like they need to patch things up a bit. Yay, I got Big Don. Don't worry, we're gonna finish the job. I would rather admit defeat from 2020 than team up with you again. Although I may as well admit defeat for this game. Hmm, what do you guys think about- For God's sake, Barry, it was your spectacular idea to do two cold opens for this video. Can we please speed this the hell up? Fine, everyone just press square once and that's your team. I got this, Donald. I'm gonna get us the best team possible right here. Fuck's sake, Joe. Oh, look at that. It's a hashtag inside of the letter D. That's clever. These guys must be amazing. So fucking far from it. All righty, Brett, you can do the honors. My pleasure, here we go. Of course. Solid, Brett. Oh, awesome. Are they good? <laughs> the Diamondbacks are in first place, so yes, we got a good team. They got frickin' diamonds in their backs. How do we feel about Wrigley Field? So much history in this park. The iconic ivy-filled walls, the bleachers on top Barry, of Barry, I really don't fucking care. Can we just play the damn game? Donald Trump? More like Donald Grump. <laughs> oh, I like her, guys. She's too old for you, Joe. Brett, would you like to play this first inning? Sure, sounds good. Donald, you can play this inning. No, all you. I want Barry. Stole my queen. But Donald, I really need to- Joe, you're playing this fucking inning. You know, Brett, I just knew that you would win. You can thank me and my charm for heavily influencing the voters. Somebody else actually won, but due to some controversial events that occurred that I was unaware of, I made a new poll without that individual. It was Andrew Tate, wasn't it? Yes, it was Andrew Tate. Damn it, wasn't that the massage guy? Massage? I would not want a massage from that whatever he is. So you wimped out and got scared of getting canceled. Typical snowflake. If I was that scared of getting canceled, you wouldn't be here, Donald. Ouch, burn. Oh, because you and Hunter are so innocent. The fuck you say? Ouch, right off the handle of the bat. Way to get things started for us, Joe. Dang it. God help me. Just a tad early, Joey. Oh, nice. Way to keep it realistic with Javi Baez and swing at anything rolled away from the plate. I gotta hit Donnie, so shut the hell up. Yeah, because Brett was sleeping behind the dish. Can you blame me? The guy in the batter's box was asleep too. It's contagious. So is the guy in the Oval Office. Donald, we're literally all sitting here playing in the Oval Office. Ah, so that's the name of this room. I've been calling it Joe's Cove. Oh man, I just missed that. Phenomenal pitching, Brett. Thanks, gotta give credit to Joe though. He did most of the work for me. You're welcome, kitten. Fucking yikes. 
You boys like that? Diane Brett, I see you, girl. How the hell are you two married? Cringiest fucking men I've ever met. Oh no, Joey. Better get that before it gets into the ivy. Is it poison ivy? Joe, just get the damn ball. Early hitting, Brett. I love it. Gonna have a play at the plate. Throw it to third, Joe. You're out. Sit down. Um, I don't think so. Umpire said safe, Joey boy. Wow, I thought that was ball four for sure. Did you see me paint that corner, Donald? I saw you finally get a fucking out. Damn it, I really want to bring this guy in. Not today, Brett. Not today. Joe, if you get out of having a runner on third with no one out, I will encourage every viewer to vote for you in 2024. Wow, Donald, really? No, fuck you. Whoa, almost got the family jewels on that one. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry, I couldn't bring that guy home, Barack. No need to apologize. We got one, and with these two bitching at each other constantly, it'll surely just go more and more downhill for them by the inning. Extra bases for Donald. Now Corbin has it. Good start, Barry. Fucking washed up piece of shit. Whoa. Absolutely not. There will be zero tolerance for any Miggy slander. This is fun, Joe. I'm having so much fun with this amazing team you picked for us. Really, I am too, Donald. I'm so happy to hear that. Great inning, Barry. Please, this is no challenge. Can't believe I'm saying this, but rather have Tate than Joe right now? Barry, I think you made the right choice. Even if I wasn't picked, who knows what would have happened had you picked him. Well, he's under house arrest anyway, so there was no way he could even show up to play. So wait, let me get this straight. I finished first in the second poll? Actually, you finished third in the first poll and second in the second poll. So you had two different polls with Tate Shit. on it? No, someone else finished first on the second poll. Well, you completely left that out, Barry. So who finished first on the second poll? Bernie Sanders did. Bernie? Why the hell isn't he here, Barry? Glad he isn't. It was weird. When I asked if he wanted to play, his voice sounded weird. He's always sounded like a grumpy old man. Exactly. But he didn't when I talked to him, nor did he even have his iconic Brooklyn accent. Man, I was really hoping to feel the burn. What the fuck was wrong with that? I don't why I just wasn't quite feeling any- Save it. Just nothing surprises me with you anymore. But I was really looking forward to playing with Bernie. He's the best. He literally lost to Crooked Hillary and your confuzzled and stumbling ass. How great could he really be, Joe? Yeah, but Donald, you also lost to a guy that can't even walk. Hey, I've gotten better. I only stumbled twice at most when boarding Air Force One. Oh well, Donald, we will get him next time. If I haven't lost the will to live by then, that is. Wow, this game is incredibly easy. Of course it is. You guys are facing a fucking single A team. Random thought, but we should think of a way to engage with our viewers more. Well, you already ran two polls and picked neither fucking winner. No offense, Brett. None taken. How would you like to screw our fans over now, Barry? You know what, Donald? Sorry I didn't want to include a fucking misogynistic piece of shit that has been involved in who knows how much controversy throughout his life. So if I pissed off a couple of kids who are probably way too young to even be watching this, I could care a whole lot less. It's AI, Barry. Take a fucking chill pill. I don't fucking care what it is. I have morals, damn it. Barry, like I said before, I think it shows a lot of character, even if this isn't real at all. No one cares about what you have to say. Excuse me? I didn't mean that. I tend to feed off Barry's negative energy when he gets this mad. Can't do fucking shit with this trash ass team. In Barry's defense, his PR rep told him it wasn't a good idea to bring Tate on board either. PR rep? Who the hell is his PR rep? Your mom. Oh, and about earlier, in case this went over anyone's head, Bernie Sanders' voice didn't register properly in the software we use, so we scrapped him and went with my queen who finished second in the poll. Oh, come on, Donald. You ruin everything, Donald. Bro was just speaking facts, though. Uh, no sugarcoating Damn it. Damn it. I respect it. That's my queen. Shouldn't your queen be your own damn wife? Hey, Barry, worry about pitching. How about that? Will you stop throwing my fucking controller? Will you stop with these bullshit ways to play the game? The hell are you talking about? Why can't we just pick a fucking team without there being some kind of bullshit behind it? Uh, is Trumpy grumpy? Great. <laughs> Joe, shut your ass up. You picked us this fucking minor league team. Looks like a bad throw in. Wait, nope, nope, nope. Fuck. What the hell are you doing, Barry? I saw the bad throw in and figured it was going to be an errant throw. Excuses, excuses. 
Damn it, that's staying in. You're hitting the ball well, Barry, just unlucky. And shitty base running. Shit inning from you, Obama. You just got lucky the game knew where to put your fielders. Don't let him get under your skin, Barry. But Brett, you could let me get- No, 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 no. Man, what am I supposed to do? You could start by picking a better fucking team. And if you really want to go above and beyond, you could resign. In your dreams, orange man. Another inning of outstanding offensive production. Donald, I'm really trying here. Oh yeah, you're really fucking trying. Will you stop bullying me? So are they like this every episode? Oh my God, you have no idea. Nor does Joe have an idea when it comes to picking a respectable team. Oh, there you go, Joe. Why not let them extend their lead? Shut up, Donald. It's not my fault they got a triple. It fucking is your fault. You dove for the damn ball. Oh, wow. What am I swinging at? Here we go. Now Joey is back. Was he here to begin with? That should fall in. Oh, you think so? Damn it. Just out of reach. Another amazing play by Sleepy Joe and his shitty team he picked. Joe, would you please wrap this inning up? I'm trying, Donald. Their team is just slightly better than ours. Slightly? Wow, Brett. You're better than your brother. My brother? Yeah, little Benjamin. Who the hell is... Oh, you must mean Ben? Like Ben Shapiro? We are not related at all. Maybe politically. Fake news. You ain't fooling me. You're definitely related. Just like I'm not buying the fact that Joe intentionally picked this shit team just to extend Daddy Barack's win streak. Will you shut up, man? Donald, to be fair, Joe just pressed the random team button. Fucking hell. We did it too, and supposedly we got a better team. It's all luck-based. Brett, you don't understand. Barry comes up with this bullshit every damn episode. Name one bullshit thing I came up with. The pitcher's only game. About time we got a damn hit again. Yeah, that was a shit show. Shut up, Joe. So is your team. The team that we had to ride with because of your bullshit. Oh, this game must be broken if this T-ball team is recording back-to-back -back hits. Think it may be time for a pitching change, Barry. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. It's a miracle. We're on the board. Yay. About time, Donnie. All right, I'm bringing in Chafin. I wouldn't do that, Barry. You should bring your closer in when it's a save situation. My closer is a 50 fucking nine overall. No. Well, in the game, if you put in a non-closer in a save situation, they're overall tanks, and they're more likely to shit the bed. But hey, you do you, boo. I mean, that makes sense to me. All right, I guess I'll take your word for it then. Shit. Yep, I knew you were gonna get stupid. What in the world of Sleepy Joe base running was that? Joe, I've done more in this inning than you've done in three fucking years in office. Shut the hell up! Fuck. That closer thing was all bullshit, by the way. Thanks for putting in a 59 overall loser. <laughs> Did you guys see the ball dancing where it landed? That was hilarious. Are you fucking kidding me, Donald? Donald, that's not cool, bro. Sorry, Queen, but Barry needed to learn to stop trying to slip his bullshit past the mighty Trump. I didn't slip shit. I told you to press square and that was your team. We did the same fucking thing. But why can't we just pick our teams? Because you were bitching about the fucking time. Look, let's just say hypothetically, for the sake of the argument, that Barry didn't tell you to press square. Would you still have deceived Barry? And just like that, I'm swiping left. Anyway, all that bitching and cheating bought you another half inning. Congrats, Donald. Thanks, Barry. Where's my congratulations? Geez, Barry, could you have been any earlier? Don't think so. Dude was sitting on a 200 mile an hour fastball. Come on, Meadows, haul your ass back there. No chance, that's extra bases. Just missed the basket, Barry. Throw it in, Donald. I'm trying, Joe. Barry, what the? Don't ask. Oh, Barry, never make the first, second, or third out at third. It's first or third, Joe. Oh, okay, never make the first, second, or third out at first or third, Barry. Anyway, put in a guy with actual speed, please, Joe. Wait, how do we have a guy at second already? Are we cheating? I told Hunter to stop trying to hack my PS5. It's the extra innings rule. Base runner is automatically placed on second at the start of every half inning after the ninth inning, or in our case, after the sixth. Blazing speed, watch this. Oh shit. Keep going, Joe. Get the ball, Brett. I couldn't see where my catcher was. 
Broke the damn tie. You crazy son of a bitch. You like that. Let's fucking go, Joe. Ugh, come on, Marte. Joe, really think about taking two here. Miggy makes even you look fast. They ain't stopping me or the goat Miggy. Didn't even need to slide. Brett, you're, uh, you're really crumbling under the pressure here. The hell was that, Barry? Some kind of malfunction, I think. I'm going to put in a pinch speeder, Donnie. Great thinking, Joe. Oh, no. Get ready to tag. Tag, that's fallen. Come on, Brett. How was I supposed to catch that? You're the one that left on this, this stupid extra base runner rule, too. Guess I will bring in who should have pitched last inning. I would have had Donald not fed me lies. Oh, man. You're good, Joe. Just get ready to tag. Oh, that was a weak-ass throw. You can't get me! Oh, wait. Yes, you can. What the hell was that, Joe? Aggressive base running. You know what? I'll let it slide. You brought in two runs. This is your one free pass. Brett. Well, it would have gotten to the wall anyway, so figured I may as well try. Would have brought in another run, too, had Joe not been stupid. Hey, you said you would let it slide. Doesn't mean I won't deny it was a dull-witted play. Please end it, Brett. Well, we wouldn't even be here, Barry, if you weren't so gullible. Yeah, Barry, way to throw the game away from my queen. Piss off, Donald. This is going to be an immaculate inning. Well, you already threw two balls. And that hit from Brett wasn't a strikeout, so that's off the table. What are you talking about? The definition of an immaculate inning. An immaculate inning is three straight outs, dumbass. No, that's just being a competent pitcher. Ooh. Almost got doubled up. Immaculate inning still on the table. No, damn it. Hey, get back here. Throw the ball. Look at that, an immaculate inning to win the game. Joe, again. You didn't throw an immaculate... That a fucking boy, Joseph. Way to come through clutch when we needed you most. Kudos to us not letting Barry's bullshit get the better of us. Amazing how Donald is just a completely different man based on if he wins or loses. I can be whatever man you need me to be, Brett. Uh... Good game, Barry. Good game, Brett. Did you call me Brett? So, Brett, think you would like to join us again? If the fans would like me back, absolutely. But Ben seems to be quite the fan favorite. That is massive cap, massive fake news. Oh, you love little Benjamin Donald. Well, Brett, we appreciate you joining us and hope to see you again sometime. Would you like to sign us off? Sure thing. That's all we have time for today, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And check out our card channel as well. We will be uploading a new one on the 4th of July. We will?